Hello and welcome to Planting Joy Gardens. Welcome to Planting Joy Gardens. So this is the great thing about having a kitchen garden. You're able to um, not only eat fresh items directly from the garden, but you can also preserve some things to pull out later. So it is December, we're approaching Christmas, and I'm going to use some of my harvest from the summer to prepare a nice lunch. So some of the garden items, I have some zucchini that I processed on July 27. It was an overgrown zucchini and how I prepared it is um, I skinned it, I cubed it, and I blanched it. I also have some green onion tops that I pulled from my garden and I just simply chop them up and put them in freezer bags. I have some celery, same thing, chop it up, put it in freezer bags, and I put it in small portions so that I'm not having to defrost or pull out huge amounts when I just need a little bit. Here is some of my homegrown thyme and I have been using quite a bit of this. I just uh, wish I had uh, dried more. I was using it fresh a lot, but I didn't realize how much I needed. Uh, I have plenty of sage, so I will be adding that to the recipe. Of course, salt and pepper. I did not have garlic, so I know for this, um, upcoming uh, growing season. I do have some garlic planted now so that I can have garlic in the spring, um, but I do have some garlic that I'm gonna be adding to this recipe. Some of the things that I could not grow is some turmeric, and I also have some cumin. And so everyone can kind of flavor their zucchini soup to their preference. You basically make it the way you would make any squash soup. So to my old fashioned pressure cooker, and I, you don't have to use a pressure cooker. You can use any stock pot. I just prefer my pressure cooker because I like the way it cooks. You just add in a little olive oil. I'm going to add in uh, some green pepper. So here I have the green pepper. What I do to preserve it is I chop, I wash it, I chop it up, um, and then I freeze it into little cubes in the portions that I usually use to season my foods. So that's the green pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of my green onion and it's still frozen. I just make sure that when I freeze it, I freeze it loose so I can just dip out exactly what I need. So that's about right. I love celery. The celery is also frozen. I just grab exactly what I need from a smaller size um, freezer bag and I'm just going to add the celery in. It is also frozen. And I wish I could say I'm measuring. I would say I'm putting a quarter cup of green onion tops, a quarter cup of um, frozen celery that's been chopped down and a quarter cup of green peppers. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, because I don't have fresh garlic. I'm going to also add in black pepper to taste. I'm gonna add in a little salt. I'm going to add some thyme. And I would say I'm adding, this is dry thyme. I would say I'm adding roughly a tablespoon dried. Or sage. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of sage, dried sage, of course. 
Uh, so basically, it's a roux with my seasonings. And these are fresh grown from the garden seasonings. Um, everything except for the uh, garlic itself, because I did not do a good job with garlic. But it's on my growing plan. I'm going to add turmeric, which did not come from my garden. But I am going to try to find a way of growing it. And the turmeric is because I'm using uh, zucchini. Zucchini is green. It's hard to, you know, eat a green soup. So the turmeric is just basically adding that little taste, but also it's adding color. And the last one is cumin. I love the taste of cumin. Um, not everyone enjoys it, so this is optional. So I'm going to not put a whole teaspoon. I would say this is roughly a half a teaspoon. So this is the base. This is the flavor for the soup. So I'm going to get these flavors blended. So then my next step will be to add the zucchini. Now this zucchini has been uh, peeled. It has been um, blanched. Um, everything has been done uh, to the zucchini so it will cook very quickly. So this is a great soup when you don't have a lot of time. Everything is pre-cut. Everything is frozen. I have all the spices on hand because part of gardening is processing the food so that it is readily available when you need it. So hold on just a moment. We're going to give this time to prepare and to steep. So what you see here is my liquid. So I added six cups of water to my pan. Um, and this is just my seasonings in here. So this is the onions, the green, the green onions, green pepper, celery, it's the cumin, the thyme, the sage, salt, pepper, and garlic. That's what's in the pot. As an addition, you can add a smoky flavor. Some people choose to add bacon. I am actually adding smoked turkey parts. Um, so that's what's in here. So I want a smoky taste to my broth. So I'm going to let this cook uh, when I feel like all the flavors have been dispersed and the smoked meat is uh, nice and tender and fully cooked. I will drop in the zucchini. So I'll catch you in a moment. So I decided to speed up the cooking process because I did add uh, turkey parts. So I did put the lid on, seal down my old fashioned uh, pressure cooker, and I am going to pressure cook my broth uh, with the, the smoked meat um, 20 minutes. It should be fully cooked, it should be falling apart, and it should blend very well when I add the zucchini to prepare a soup. Okay, so the pressure cooker was going for 20 minutes. There you go. That's all my seasonings and six cups of water. I did remove the meat um, from there. I use a meat thermometer just to make sure that it came up. The smoked meat came up to 180 degrees, um, but it's not part of the soup. I was just using it for flavor. So the next thing is to drop in the zucchini. And this bag, um, generally when I cut up zucchini, if it's a marrow or overgrown zucchini, I'll put four cups per freezer bag. So I'm going to add that four cups to my pot. Four cups of frozen zucchini that has been blanched. I will turn my pot on again. And I am just going to let it cook until it's really soft. Then I can use a blender. Uh, immersion blender is better. And then blend it down and this soup will be ready to serve. So I'll be right back. So there you have it. Uh, zucchini soup. It is still a little green, but it's kind of a golden green because of the turmeric. And here it is in the bowl. I did add the meat back in as some garnish. So try it out at home. Take what you have in your garden, cook with it. In fact, the word potage, as in potage garden, actually means soup or pot. So 
Oftentimes people will take what's growing in their garden and create a soup. And so my kitchen garden provided my zucchini soup, soup today. Thank you for watching. Remember to plant joy in your garden.